guys, what are we gonna do today? We're gonna do something a little bit different. We are gonna take a piece of wood, add some cement, and try to stamp it. We're gonna learn the pros and the cons and the tricks and things not to do. Let's get started. Today I'm playing with cement, so I'm going to cover a board and show you how you can stamp into it. Now this has a little leftover, but let's just ignore that and start from the beginning. I'm gonna use some off-white paint and I'm gonna put some in, and it really depends on how big your board or your surface you're covering on how much paint you'll need. I'm gonna start with about a half a cup of cement. I am going to add just a little bit of water. It looks like about a quarter cup, but you're gonna feel the consistency when you start stirring. You want this consistency a little thicker than just doing a wash, because we're going to be doing an impression in the cement. So I'm gonna to continue to stir this, because I do want a fairly smooth consistency with this. It will have a couple chunks in there, but that's okay. So I'm just using this brown packing tape, and I'm just gonna go around my board just to give me a little bit of an edge so my cement does not just slide off of the end. And really, you just wanna use a sturdy tape. And this stands nicely, so I feel like this works fairly well. And it's just a brown craft tape. So what I am going to do is I'm actually going to pour some of this in. And you'll see how much you need as you get going here. So you want it thick enough you can get an impression, but not so thick that you have a cement column. I'm going to brush it, but you'll see it will start to smooth itself out. So I'm just gonna let this set for just a short time. And I'm gonna come back in when it's started to set up. I'm guessing we probably have quarter to a half inch of cement in there, it's not very deep. So I want it just set enough that I can stamp into it, but not so wet that your stamp just sticks to it. So I'm just using a canola oil and I sprayed the back of my stamp and we are going to press in. So I had let this set about two hours. So it might've been a little long, but I feel like that impression came out very nicely. So I'm going to spray my bird. I don't want to shift my stamp. I just want to press in, hold it in place, and press in on all the parts. Okay, I'm going to completely let this set. And when this is completely set, we are going to do a wash over it. Okay, I'm going to take the tape off of this. This is pretty set. but you wanna make sure it's completely dry. I mixed a bit of green paint with water. I'm gonna do a real light wash. Okay, so I really mixed this green paint with a lot of water, so I'm just kind of sopping up with a paper towel, some of the wash to lighten it. I wanna give it a slight mossy look without looking dark green. I'm gonna do the sides too. Okay, so let's let this dry. So I'm using a clear wax on this. The green wash is dried. Now you can see this must have been a little softer and this had dried, this side had dried a little more so you can see the imprint isn't quite as deep. So some of that you're just gonna have to play with. Now I'm gonna add some dark wax. I did a wash with the light green, and then I added just a little bit of the clear wax and brown wax and put that over here. And then I did a light white dry brush just over the top edges. And a lot of this is you're just gonna have to experiment to see the look you're going for. 
I'm going to use this Rub On Poly. I'm just going to let this corner right here dry and I'm just going to put this transfer on here. So this poly is dried on this corner and I am just going to add this little piece of transfer to the corner to give it just a little bit more interest. And this is going to be a bumpy road here. And it's going to be real hit and miss because you do have such a bumpy surface. But the sealer should help and you're just going to need to take your time if you're going to use a transfer. Okay, so some of these areas are going to feel a little raised. So you're going to need to push this in and then seal the top of this. You just put a little sealer on this. Okay. So this project was a little trial and error. I'm playing with it. So the one thing I probably would do different is really check the cement to make sure it's still soft enough, but not hard. Maybe monitor it a little bit better. See the indentation and it got a little lighter up there and the washes. And a lot of it, you're just gonna have to play with to see what look you like. This almost looks like it all blends in, but I really like it like that. So I hope you guys give this a try. Have fun.